Fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. Today, we are going to find out who is thinking heavily about you right now and why. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me who is thinking heavily about Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius right now and why. Got a page of wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so this person could be somebody like you are, Leo, Aries, Sag. Or it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Can be any sign, okay? Eight of Cups is right here. This person um, either could have walked away from you at one point or that you could have walked away from this person, okay? Ace of Swords here. This is an indication of you perhaps could have cut this person off or this person may have cut you off either or and also we've got the ace of wands here so this person even though they are walking away or that you have walked away from this person they're still interested it feels like they are still passionate about you they could also be thinking about reigniting passion with you so we've got the six of cups in reverse you may have some bad memories in regards to this person in the past um they may have kept a lot of secrets here with the, uh, the moon they may have lied to you you may have found out the truth here with ace of swords this could be one of the main reasons why you could have cut this person off you could have found out that they were uh cheating on you because we've got the uh lovers here in reverse and indicates a choice that maybe this person has made in regards to cheating on you um lying to you i feel like with the moon and the ace of swords, most likely you have found that out and you've cut this person off. You may have found out they have started something else somewhere with somebody else, okay? And also we've got the ace of pentacles in love first. So this connection may have started off looking solid, but it didn't take off. Uh, for this reason, for could be the lies, some sort of deception. Sometimes moon can indicate deception as well, especially paired with these two cards, six of cups and the lovers in reverse. That that means you have really bad memories in regards of this deception here. Okay. However, we've got the king of cups here. It doesn't matter king or queen. It's not gender specific. Either this person may still have a really strong romantic emotions for you, or that maybe you still have feelings for this person. Either or. And uh, we've got the Hierophant here in reverse. Both of you could be very different from each other. It could be a different race, different religion, uh, something different. It could be an age gap, more values. But the Hierophant in reverse also can indicate maybe both of you were married at one point or talked about marriage. Uh, it was a serious relationship, okay? No matter, no matter where you were at with this person, I feel like it was a... It was a serious relationship, but let's see more. Yeah, page of one, six of pentacles, and then we've got the um, hangman here. Some of you maybe are on a break with this person, either on a break or could be separated. Six of pentacles. This is somebody who would like to speak with you. I feel like this person, especially with the moon here, if you've been really really silent i'm not speaking with this person right now they could be thinking heavily in regards of wanting to speak with you you know to hash things out or to clarify certain things that could be kind of confusing right now with the moon so six of pentacles can indicate this person will be thinking heavily in regards of wanting to treat you right wanting to treat you fairly this time around and page of wands is right here so they're thinking about extending an olive branch wanting to speak with you for sure but right now i don't know why they're kind of like with a hangman here they're, they're taking their time yeah they're not in a rush that's what i'm seeing here so they could just be waiting and just thinking about you thinking about you know wanting to speak with you eventually or they could be waiting for you to speak with them okay to communicate with them we've got the six of swords here in reverse nine of pentacles and also we've got the two of swords here it feels a bit like either you blocked this person or this person have block, has blocked you. It may not always mean that. Two of swords, maybe somebody just needing some time to be alone right now. It could be you or this person, either or. That could be the one. That could be one of the main reasons why this person be thinking heavily. In regards of you, in regards of the decision that they are making, trying to make, or a decision that 
you are making, okay? So we've got the Nine of Pentacles here. This person could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. I feel like this is somebody very independent, okay? This person may have um, their life sorted out, okay? Um, I feel like, or it could be you. If this is you, Leo, Aries, and such, if this is you, you are somebody very independent, very self-sufficient, and you've got your ducks in a row, this person also could be thinking heavily in regards of what you've achieved right now uh, in terms of your career or how independent you are. But the Nine of Pentacles is a very gorgeous energy for me, right? Somebody who knows their worth, somebody who is already, you know, can achieve so much uh, on their own without somebody else so, because there's only one person here. So perhaps they could also be thinking heavily in regards of how much respect that they have for you as a person. Uh, or whatever you have achieved in your life. Six of Swords here is in welfare. So this person is still stuck. This person hasn't moved on yet from you, but they're kind of indecisive in regards to you. So this could be the main reasons why also that they could be thinking heavily about you right now. But let's see more Leo, Aries, and such. So they're very sad. Five of Cups here, very disappointed or regretful over whatever that may have transpired between two of you. And again, you've got the high priestess here. Most likely both of you are not speaking with each other right now. It you got two cards that indicate silence. So um it could be them giving you silent treatment, you giving this person silent treatment. But if they're the ones giving you silent treatment, they're still thinking about you. Right, I feel like again, two swords it has something to do with a decision that they're trying to make right now. Um, if you are the one who is giving them a silent treatment, they could just be waiting for you to speak up with the ace of swords here to communicate with them. Seven of wands, you could be quite protective in regards to this person. I mean, protective of yourself, defensive because maybe you don't want this person to hurt you or hurt you again. Page of Cups here is in reverse, so this may be an indication of maybe this person can be a little bit immature or uh, maybe they could have been insincere at one point. May not always mean that, but it's like a block communication, right? Because the page is a, again a messenger, so either you have blocked, you have block communication, or stop communicating with this person. This person is thinking heavily in regards of or trying to understand why, because the high priestess also again is the all knowing. Perhaps they could be trying to gather some information within themselves, within their own head, within their own mind as to what's going on here, and two of swords. Yeah, trying to figure something out, and also we've got the. Leo energy um, with the sun here and the three of pentacles and one first. Some of you, this is somebody, again, you have seen very clearly who this person is, right? They may have lied or cheated on you or kept a lot of secrets from you. And I feel like it, they could have disappointed you at one point, right? Five cups here. It may have been involved with a third party. Um, it could have been a third party situation, may not always mean that. But Three of Pentacles and Reverse is like a connection where it's really hard to compromise or that maybe both of you not seeing eye to eye on some things here or it could also be an indication of maybe you this is somebody you have seen very clearly that perhaps you don't want to reconcile with them. Again, I feel like for a lot of you, this person may have again lied or cheated on you, had an affair here, it started off strong but it didn't take off, right? Also, they're wondering if you're happy <laughs> with the sun here. They're wondering if you're happy. If you're somebody, if you're doing well for yourself right now and if you're really, really happy, they're sad that you're happy without them. I keep getting this message lately. I don't know why, but let's see more Leo Aries Sag. Yeah, most likely you're not with this person right now with the death card here. Ten of Cups and well, first, you could have been in a relationship with this person. You could have been happy at one point with this person, talked about the future. Again, it didn't pan out. This person will be feeling really lost right now with the hermit energy in love first, wondering what you're up to or that uh, they could be reminiscing for sure. The Six of Cups, all the past, past good times and bad times as well. They could be thinking a lot about that. And this person with the page of Swati and love first definitely stalking you in some way, shape or form. Could be in any way, shape or form. It could be through tarot. It could be through uh, asking a psychic or it could be them uh, stalking your um, your social media. It can be anything, right? Or just really curious, yeah? It's a very curious energy when it comes to the page of swords. 
uh, curious to find out how you doing or what's going on here um hmm, they could be kind of confused too with the moon here as to what's going on with you um this person may be a virgo capricorn taurus maybe a scorpio can be any sign i feel like this is somebody you you gift you gave a lot to okay you nurtured this person a lot um but again something has happened here there's trouble in paradise ten of cups in reverse or oh, both of you could be separated i send this i sense that this person is taking their own sweet time again with the nine of knight of pentacles although they're thinking heavily about you right now they're not doing anything about it but they're thinking about offering you something sending you a message here but they're kind of like still unsure about some things here with the moon maybe it's their own insecurities fear or just a sense of uncertainty as in you know how how would you react if they were to communicate with you or uh with ace of swords here ask for some sort of clarification but anyway leo aries sash this is your reading hope you resonated if you did please hit like share and subscribe I'm going to leave you with a few videos on the screen right now. These videos are from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. If you're interested, check it out. And also, I'll leave you with a playlist on the screen. This playlist has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions. But they're still valid readings. As you guys know, I post your videos almost every single day. So check it out. Uh, click on the playlist and scroll all the way down. Look for your sign. There could be some other important messages for you over there and also i'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me my information is in the description box below for those of you who like to be notified every time when i post your videos don't forget to hit on the bell notification button all right take care bye